may have just bought myself something I shouldn't have. Hello guys and welcome to the first day of the prep series. As you can see, this is my view from my balcony. Just sat here having a coffee on a Friday morning. Nice black coffee. Um, today, I've got a few clients in the morning. I'm training with Marshall. Not training with him, but I'm training him. Because we document a series which I'll speak about when we see him. Um, my hair is awful, isn't it? That's bad hair for you. Um, yeah, Mar film with Marshall and then I'll be training myself so you'll see some of that. Walking through this bus uh, station at 6.30 in the morning, it's like a ghost town. So pale. So as you just saw, that was a raw physique update. I'm flatted, flat, no training. Um, flat, no training. And now I'm about to go get my hair cut. And I'm wearing a hat because you can see it's a bit of a mess. And then um, I'm off to train push, which I'll go through and you'll see clips of in the next video. Hello guys and welcome to the first voiceover that you'll be seeing on this channel. So today we, uh, well yesterday we hit a uh, push session which was shoulder orientated with a first starting off with a dumbbell shoulder press with a set of 42 for 10 as a first set. This actually I believe was the second set in the mix because what, uh, what I'll go through with my um, workout program that my coaches send me, we normally do a top set and then a followed off by a back off set when we go in for those compound heavy lifts. Um, so that set was a 42 for 10, which was the second actually set. Um, just because I, I feel like I need to warm up my shoulders sometimes a bit more, um, just because of previous injuries and that. And then this set was a set of 46 for 8, um, which is one up from last week. And I'll go through that in another video so you can see all my program and my split, um, which I logbook um, every session. So, yeah. So this was a, considering last week was very, um, I had a spot for last week for the 46s, this time round I didn't, which was actually really good, uh, so it shows that obviously strength's progressing in the right areas, uh, last week like I said we got a set for 7 and this time we've upped it to 8, so that's one rep up. And then we moved on to a single arm lateral raise, if you want those big shoulders, those big 3D delts. Um, those big nice round, round and fullness to your shoulder on the sides, you need to be hitting your sides quite a lot. Um, even when I was in my off season, when I wasn't, when I didn't have my coach, I was still hitting cuff lateral raises, uh, side raises with the dumbbells, and now they're in my program more, even more frequently, especially with doing physique. Um, physique is, you know, all about that wide shoulder and chest ratio to that nice small, small tiny waist. So the bigger the shoulders. Obviously, the it's going to create the illusion that my waist is actually smaller. Um, genetically, I actually have a smaller waist anyway, which is pretty good. Um, which you'll see as I get leaner and leaner. Um, we then moved on after that to a machine chest press plate loaded. Haven't actually done this yet, really, apart from when I've been on prep. Um, I had a break from it and I was actually progressing more with the barbell bench press. Um, so we've put this back in. So I believe this was a set of 120 for 9. 
Um, I could go a little bit slow on the eccentric. Um, that's something I'm working on uh, that I've noticed watching back in these videos that I don't I don't uh, progress the eccentric as much as well. And if you don't know what the eccentric is, it's basically the downward phase of the movement. Um, so I just need to control that a bit more. So like you see there, I sort of slam it down where I should be controlling that all the way through. Um, this set was 130.45, I believe, yep. Yeah. So this was also um, another top set. I just thought I'd see where my strength's at. Um, and it's not too bad. Um, I find this machine, like this machine, is quite sticky for me. Um, let me know if you have it in other gyms where yours is just as sticky as mine, but I feel like it's just not as smooth. Uh, we used to have a hammer strength lying down chest press, which I still prefer to this day. Um, and again, they're still slamming Maca. Come on, fix up. But yeah, this was obviously the back off set and I hit 100 kg for 10 reps, which I believe is a also another high in my logbook progress. Um, that's also something you need to be doing, guys. Make sure you track your lifts, whether that's through videos, whether that's through a logbook. Uh, obviously, logbook's going to tell you, give you the most detail, and obviously, you can use that data to then progress. It's, it's quite hard, you know, using your memory to remember where you are uh, with regards to your, your progress in your lifts and everything like that. So, make sure you logbook it, whether that's on a spreadsheet that you can use with your phone, whether that's paper. Um, I prefer a phone just because, you know, it's backed up and that, and I don't, I don't risk losing a logbook. Um, and then we hit some dumbbell lateral raises um, also here for three sets of 12. And I was just focusing. I can't, I've, On my last week, I did go a bit heavier, but I didn't think the form was there. Uh, so I actually decided to reduce the weight and just sort of focus on moving, not just moving the weight from A to B, but trying to contract as much as possible. And then here is just a close-up of what I'm currently looking like. And we also finish off with some tricep extensions and bicep curls, which are also occlusion cuffed. Um, but they're just not in the video for whatever reason. Um, but yeah, enjoy the rest of the video, guys, and bye. So I just wrapped up, wrapped up a fantastic push session. Push session. A push session. Um, it was fantastic. A lot of weight went up, um, which you'll see, obviously, in the clips. Um, some weight's obviously maintained, but that's absolutely fine. Obviously, being on a cut, you know, I'm not going to be building massive amount of strength. Um, obviously, the first initial few weeks I will be. Food is still quite high, um, but it's okay if numbers do either maintain or regress slightly, and that's just part of parcel of you know dieting. Um, something I want to talk about a bit today in this first episode is ambition, having that drive and that that willpower to succeed to hit your goals. Um, for me, obviously, this this year is sort of redemption year for me. Uh, for those who don't know me, I done. A dieting phase last year for a comp competition got six weeks out um, and mentally I was destroyed um, for a few reasons which I'll go into in another video um, but I obviously took the decision decision I can't pronounce my s's today decision to um, take a break and I think do you know what it's been, it's been a blessing in disguise it's allowed me to sort of rediscover my love for the gym for one um, my food has been like non-stop like just on point in terms of you know building muscle and, and being in a surplus for that time that I took off and now I feel like I'm in a position that I'm just so motivated in terms of business in terms of this in terms of doing things that I want to do so I think that it was a blessing this guys to take time off and now I've come back and I'm just fueled ready to take this like prep like just to another level um I noticed that I ramble quite a lot I either repeat myself or I ramble, so I do apologise. I'm getting better at speaking to a camera, but I'm not. I'm still not great. Um, so yeah, for me this year, like I said last year, I want to become a junior a physique champion. This year, like that is the goal for me. Like I will stop at nothing and do everything in my power. This guy sounds like a, like a Dragon Ball Z character, doesn't it? <sighs> like I will. Nothing's going to stop me getting to where I need to be. You know, I. And as long as I've done everything, when I step on that stage for the first time, and you know, like I think back to when I've done all my weight training, I'd done those extra reps I needed to do. Uh, my cardio was on point every time. My food was on point. I'm leaving no, you know, stones unturned. I want to be the best I possibly can. I want to see my like. There's no point going for a prep just to take part. You know, everyone wants to win. And if I go on to that stage knowing I've fully done everything in my power to do to place and do well then that's all that matters um so it's about having ambition so that is the goal i'm setting myself I, I would like to become a junior champion whether that's in a you know a pca federation whether that's in a, a UKUP, whatever it may be i just want to win 
um, and do well and be you know be proud of what I've brought to a stage. Um, so yeah, that's that's the goal. That is like my ambition. I'm quite a, a driven person. Always have been in sport. Um, whether it comes down to when I used to do. Uh, do judo I competed quite a high level uh, football co competed at quite a high level um, I've done sprinting like, I'm always a very competitive person so and that's in my nature it's very addictive and then once I get stuck into something like my claw like I get my claws in um, and yeah I'm just excited for this year really um, I do yeah like I said before I think it's been a blessing in disguise to actually t step back take a break last year and again which I said I'll, I will go into in another video um, because it's quite important to understand that sometimes it is good to take a step back and not not always be so overcritical of yourself. Um, but if you want to be the best as well, you have to be. I just contradict myself. Don't know all the time. But um, yeah, so I picked up some post-workout food. Um, I literally brought it to the counter and dropped all the eggs. So no eggs for me today. Um, but yeah, cool. All right, I'll see you at home at post-workout meal. No way. And I was like, obviously there were special cards out, but you get some Mbappe, I'm like, that's 500k coins. Yeah. YouTube, how are you? I'm fine. Oh, look at that sunlight hitting my eyes. Um, as you can see, I've got myself a haircut. Uh, it's a crop with a one and a half on the sides. Um, so, last time since you seen me, you've probably seen me train, and you might have seen that I bought myself at the start of the video. Um, I haven't got an unboxing video because one, that was a couple of days ago I bought it. Two, I wanted to get on it. And three, I don't have my camera to vlog it. So um, I bought myself this, which is a MacBook Pro 2019. And it's also got the touch bar, which is pretty cool. Um, so as you can see there, it lights up. Um, I can bring it out. I can move across things like this. So it just makes things a bit more easy to access. I can play. I can stop stuff like that so I'm currently watching the TM cycle video um, and the reason f the reason I bought this was because I always wanted one um, and obviously if I'm doing YouTube now and focusing more on my online side of it I wanted to invest in a really good laptop and obviously I've heard nothing but good things about the MacBook it also makes sense that I've always wanted one um, I've never been keen on the iMacs the computers but I've also been always been very keen on the laptop just because Laptops are a bit more practical, so I decided to treat myself, um, and I never do that. You know, I, work, I, would do, I do work, I like to say I work quite hard um, for my money, um, being self-employed, so I thought, you know what, fuck it, I'm going to buy one. Um, and do you know what, I'm, I'm glad I did, because I'm really enjoying using it, like my productivity levels have gone so much through the roof already, and I just feel so motivated because I've got, like, what I want to help make either content better, my productivity better, and you know less procrastination around the house so um yeah i decided to buy one um and i'm really happy about it and that is where we're going to leave this today's video guys so if you did enjoy the video please drop it a like um if you do want to subscribe then obviously you'll see more content from you my lovely self um if you don't that's not an issue um let me know what i can do to improve obviously i'm still learning um today was the first voiceover for me um, in terms of, I've never sort of done something like that before, uh, and I'm not confident in terms of speaking to a camera just yet, but I'll get better. Um, so yeah, that was the first episode, I hope you did enjoy, if you did, yeah, like I said, please drop it a like, it really helps me out, and then um, also subscribe if you do like the content, um, and let me know what I can do for some future videos, I have got uh, potentially a, it's, record, it's, it's recording, it's Saturday as I'm recording this right now, so I will be filming a full day of eating on prep um tomorrow so sunday so look forward to that it'll probably be up monday sometime i uh, hope you did enjoy and if you did like i said please drop a like and subscribe